In the beginning, the creeper lived at sea, happy with his water habitat. But then suddenly, it learned. It evolved. It. Oh, damn it! What is going on guys and girls? My name is James or thanks to you and welcome back today to another Minecraft mod spotlight. We are going to be checking out the Aqua Creeper. So yeah, this is only a very, very small mod. It adds just one little thing into the game, but <laughs> it's quite a cool one because essentially it is this dude here, the Aqua Creeper. So when I first saw this, I thought, oh, it'd kind of be like an elemental style creepers thing where it would be a normal creeper and it would be kind of blue and it would do sort of, you know, water style things. But boy, was I wrong because check this guy out oh my goodness so as you can see here the aqua creeper it lives in water as is kind of obvious and these things do spawn randomly you know in water style areas and it's kind of cool because it really adds something else to your watery areas because a lot of the time they're kind of empty they might have a few little squids popping around hello ronald um but yeah it's really really cool so i've managed to isolate one of the specimens here for a bit of a closer look now the first thing about this is that it has a really cool kind of like fishy creeper model uh which is you know a custom model which looks really really cool and every now and again, you may see that it starts to get a little bit supercharged. So this thing kind of interacts two different ways uh, when it is trying to attack you. Because, of course, it is a hostile mob. God damn you creepers. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, I think I uh, kind of showed you this in the intro. But I thought it was kind of cool that this may have been how the creeper started. And it evolved to grow legs and come on. Whoa! Okie dokies. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, dude. All right, all right, okay. Um, so yeah, it kind of evolved to come on land to be the creeper that we know today. Um, so yeah, this is how it interacts. Basically, Ronald, be careful. Be careful. You stay that. You stay there. All right, okay. So we're actually going to change here into uh, game mode zero, and I'm going to kind of show you here. Now, the cool thing about these creepers, although they do dwell on the land, if you are not careful, they will actually follow you up into, you know, the ground. Oh, God. And they will actually explode. Oh, man, this is crazy. They're exploding everywhere. Chill out. Oh my goodness, so you can see just before they start to explode there, they actually get supercharged, which is kind of pretty deadly. Um, but yeah, they also do work in water. Now, the only problem is when you're actually in water. These do work when you're in boats as well. Dun, 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 dun. Oh god, hang on, one sec. Oh, no! <laughs> I was trying to change it into daytime. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see there, they do actually attack you when you are in boats. So, come on. Yes, there we go. Now, the weird thing is when they're actually in water, and this is... Oh, God, no. No, go away. Go back. Ah! <laughs> when they actually are in water, um, they don't kind of kill themselves. They only actually explode when they're exposed out of it. So, that was a terrible example here. Uh, let me go into... Uh... Actually, no, we should be okay. Where, where, where are all the creepers gone? Ah, okay, so I've learned something here which I actually thought wasn't the case. So, what I thought happened is when you actually explode, <laughs> go away, stop it, dude. Man, these things are just blowing up everywhere. So I actually thought when you're in the water with them, they actually could attack you, but they wouldn't detonate. Now, from doing a little bit of practice with these guys, it kind of seems like that isn't exactly the case. <laughs> that isn't the case, and they will just terminate them, terminate themselves. That's a weird way of saying it. Uh, but yeah, they will just explode in the water anyway. So these things are pretty deadly, both in the water and outside of it. Um, so yeah, they do actually explode the boats, as we did see there before, and you're going to have to be pretty damn careful if these guys are in and around you. I think the coolest thing is that they can actually jump up on land a bit and sort of track you, but when they do actually get on land, they have kind of a little bit of a limited lifespan, so it sort of lights the fuse, and if they're not in the water again for like the next few seconds, then they will actually explode. So let's just go double check that... <laughs> Oh man, they're so powerful. They're so, so powerful. Um, so yeah, these are the Aqua Creepers. Really, really cool. I actually really love the modeling of it. I think they look- Oh god! <laughs> genuinely made me jump. So you can track them through blocks as well. But yeah, these are absolutely awesome. You can see that they don't actually do any block damage, uh, which is probably a good thing if you have your house or something built next to the water. But these things will jump out of the water, they will come and attack you, and you're probably not very safe if you are going to be riding a boat. Um, so yeah, that is the Aqua Creeper, just a really, really awesome little mob here, uh, which I like. I think the cool thing about it as well is it's kind of, you know, not too dissimilar from the vanilla style experience. So if you're someone that doesn't really like mods to... Oh, what is happening with these guys? So if you're someone that doesn't like putting these weird and wonderful creatures into your world, at least you can put something that's vaguely vanilla-y. Why are you all exploding? 
Man, these things are vo <laughs> these things are volatile. Uh, but yeah, just really, really cool. So if you enjoyed this video, before you go, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Minecraft done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya.